Yo, what's up, guys? King Nintendo here, and today I'm bringing y'all another video. Now, as most of you guys know, Xenoverse 2 trailer has dropped. It looks amazing. It looks crisp. It looks clean. It looks shaved. It looks <laughs> <laughs> shaved. <laughs> All right, but um, on a serious note, I'm just gonna be giving you guys. A type of video on what I want to see in Xenoverse 2 now it's only probably six or seven things I really want that will be main crucial to it but you know just here it goes um now for number one number one I will be talking about character creation now what that is I don't want a half character creation I want like a fully customized character creation like I want to have be able to make Say if I want like Vegeta hair with Goku clothes, but I want all Goku clothes pink, and I want like Majin Buu shoes, but it's green. Like I'm gonna fully customize my character. Like I want to be able to customize him to the bone down. Like if I want to have him have Super Saiyan four fur, I can have that. If I want to like, and and that's not just for like Saiyans or humans. I'm talking about Majin Buu, like the Majin Saga. Like I want to be able to have. My Majin look like Kid Boo, not just Fat Boo, and then I gotta have a girl boo. Like, I want it to be like fully customizable. Like, and I want Android race. It's just like, I, they had so many missed opportunities they missed out on. Like, I was expecting to at least see that. Like, at least like, a, I can make like a Super Boo type character. I can make like a actually an actual cooler character. Like, just stuff like that, you know? Make it to where it's like, you're not just catering to the Saiyan race. Because that's all it seemed like. Like, alright, Saiyan race get 9,000 things. And, like, the Earthlings, anybody else, just get, like, a little bit of, you know, sprinkles and glitter and cupcakes and all that. But that's that's pretty much what I want. Now, for number two, I want to... I, I just want a huge roster. Now, when I mean huge, I'm not talking about 17 Gokus and all that. Just make it to what the point is we just get characters we really want. Like, I don't want Cybermen. Like, nobody plays with a Cybermen. I don't want to play no Cybermen. I don't want to play with no, um, what's his name? Raspberry and Blueberry and Greenberry. I don't want to play with them. Like, just get the crucial people. Like, it's some characters I was looking forward to have. Prime example. I was looking forward to Janemba, Gogeta, at least Imperfect Cell. I don't care what nobody say. I like the Imperfect Cell. Um, who else I was looking forward to? Cooler. I was just looking forward to another people. But since I seen the trailer, we already seen revealed Future Chunks, Future Gohan, Lord Slug, Turles, and I think that was all. And we seen Bardock get blown up. I don't know what significance that has, but. Oh well, but um, yeah, so I just want a huge roster, like, just hook up that roster, like, come on, come on, dog, hook up the roster, dog. Now, for number three, fighting time limit. Now, this does not apply to, like, the gameplay. The fighting time limit is, like, say if I'm having a two-on-two -two match, I don't want to only be able to fight for three minutes, or one-on-one -on -one match, I don't want to be able to fight for three minutes, that's, like... It's pointless like you rushing the gameplay. Sure, sure, sure. You might have the argument that, but King, what about people use their health items and stuff? Screw that, man. I need to see that. You cannot tell me that you weren't rushed. Like, say you're doing a parallel quest, and, like, you really trying to unlock Big Bang coming out 100. You got five seconds left, and Broly has, like, a whole full health left. You And you don't sit there and lie. Don't sit there and lie to me and tell me you didn't stress out and you didn't try to spam every key blast you had because you are a liar. That's all I'm saying. Make Take the fighting time limit off. It's not, we don't need to time it. Don't rush me, please. I suck. All right. Now, for number four, I just want to practice move. Now, I'm going to tell you why I want to practice move. It's not because I need to train because, you know, your boy's sharp. See the gameplay, you know. Ouch, I just got hit by Gohan. But I'm start. I'm just saying. Say if you you ever equip a new super attack or anything, and you just be like, let me see how this works against an opponent. So you gotta go to a parallel quest, and then 
just to try one move and then exit and you go all the way back and then be like, I don't know if I like this move or not. Or you go to the story mode and gotta go through them dumb cutscenes like you keep tapping X or circle which one is skipping and be like, uh. We used to have a practice mode whereas you can just like try out your moves so you would know, alright, this move is most effective and this move and this move. Alright, that's enough for the practice. For number five, I want to be able to set my difficulty higher. Now they, I don't know why they didn't have this, but after a while the game gets boring and stale and like you really couldn't like, like you really couldn't change the difficulty. So I wanted to make it super duper 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 hard because I was gonna upload it for you guys. But I beat the game in one day, one day. What you know? What game took me to beat in one day? Um, I don't know yet. But when I find out what game took me to beat in one day, I will tell you guys. But I shouldn't be able to have it on like insane mode where like they would just spam it and I would get rage quit and all it. I want to I want to have the struggle. I want the struggle to be real, y'all. The struggle to be real. And for number six, I want a survival mode. Now, I might sound like a hypocrite, but this is when Cybermen and stuff come in use. I want you to spam them at me. I wanted you to be able to mow down characters. Like, you ever saw the Cola movie? If you guys didn't see it, well, in the Cola movie, it was like a thousand meta coilers, and they was all ramming, like, like running towards the Goku and Vegeta. I want something like that. That would be a perfect addition to the Xenoverse game. Like, add Metacaller and then, like, have a mode just for him where it's, like, he going to spam it. You can see how many can you kill before you either die. Yeah, before you even die. What else can you do? Before you even die. That, that's what I really want. Now, this is my seventh one. Now, for number seven... I want to be able to use both character creations. Now, what I mean by this is, I mean, say if I want to make my team, I don't want to use my character and then, like, Super Saiyan God, Goku, and Super Saiyan God, Vegeta. They're going to be weak, of course. Now, say if you create four or five characters, I should be able to just switch instead of going to the main menu. And, you know, like, I thought that's what they lacked in that one. Now, for number eight, I want more customizable I want like more super attacks like from Dragon Ball Dragon Ball Z GT they can add GT who cares and um and yeah and what I was about to say leads me to my eighth one please add Dragon Ball Super not as a DLC please don't just add it in there come on guys come on dumps whoever whoever doing it come on guys Look out for look out for B um B dog or K dog or whoever. Just look out for us. Come on, I know y'all can do it. It's not that hard. I just don't want it to be as DLC. Like I want to be able to play as Head Monaka. Even though Monaka is like a a, a cornball, I want to play as Monaka. All them guys. But um, yeah, that's just like what I'm really looking forward to with Xenoverse. Like the trailer looked amazing. You get to be able to fly around Toki Toki. Um, I seen I seen Future Gohan, which I was so sh happy about. Like I was just shocked. I seen Bardock die, so I'm pretty sure they gonna make it change to where it's like Bardock stays alive. Um, what else was this in this trailer? Um, I seen Lord Slug, so we might see a big boss battle again, but it might be better than before. We seen Terrorless. Why? I don't know. Um. Yeah, so this game is promising. I will be uploading this game every single day, guys. Like, until I beat this game, I will be uploading that. So check that out. I will. Like, I will be playing this game all day until my character is like level 99. So I I won't be the first one because you're not know, like Nand um Bando Namkai, whatever the I forget the name. They be hooking all the other YouTubers up. I ain't that big though, so. They ain't gonna hook me up. They just gonna hook them up. So don't be checking on my channel on like next like next week talking about you got the game. They're like, nah, bro. I ain't getting that joint early. But um, yeah, that's just what I want to see from Xenoverse. Hope you guys like. Keep commenting. You guys are doing amazing. Like we are 80 subscribers. Yeah, that's not a lot, but trust me, it's a lot to me. From going from zero to 80 is a big accomplishment. So. As always, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, enjoyed the wishlist. If 
comment on what you guys want to see. Leave a like, share, subscribe. I know I just repeated myself. But, um, yeah, comment what you guys want to see from Xenoverse. Do you like it? Do you like the trailer? Yes, no, maybe so. Well, King Tain is out. Love y'all. Peace. And you know what? As a matter of fact, for a bonus thing, I'm going to leave another gameplay for you guys. That's it. So, your boy is out. Listen to this nice music and this good gameplay.